Now you've seen how in a Daniel cell we have a metal such as zinc in contact with its ions and that forms the basis of the electrode uh, and the electrons can flow between the zinc metal and the zinc ions in solution. We can actually have an electrode with any combination of a more oxidized and more reduced form in solution. So if you look at the left-hand electrode in this picture, we've got Fe3 plus and Fe2 plus. One's more oxidized, one's less oxidized, and they can therefore um, re release or um, accept electrons and thus be an electrode. Um, the only snag is that we've got to find some way of collecting those electrons. So what you have is a piece of platinum foil, which is um, in the solution of Fe3 plus and Fe2 plus, and that acts as the collector for the electrons, which they can then flow down a wire. If you now look on the right-hand side, you'll see a similar setup for hydrogen. The only thing is that in this case, we've got hydrogen gas, and of course, um, that we'll have to make arrangements for that to be in contact with the hydrogen ions. So we have this glass bubbler, which carries the hydrogen gas uh, down here and over again, a piece of platinum, um, which is the electrical contact. And it's the whole thing is immersed in a solution of hydrogen ions. So there we have two electrodes. And let's just think about um, how we connect the two together. So all we would do, as usual, is to have a wire, might have a bulb in there to light up, or we might have a high-resistance voltmeter. Um, and then uh, we would also, of course, to complete the circuit, we would need a salt bridge uh, so that any build-up of ions on one side uh, could be balanced out uh, by uh, flowing through the salt bridge. So there we have a, a cell uh, set up of two electrodes, um, uh, neither of which uh, consist of a metal in contact with its ions. And we can do this wherever we have um, a, a more oxidized and a more, ox uh, uh, and a more reduced form in solution. The hydrogen electrode um, actually forms the basis of the absolute standard for measuring electrode potentials. If we have got the things standardized so that the pressure of hydrogen gas uh, is equal to exactly one bar and the um, concentration of hydrogen ions or more, act more accurately the activity of hydrogen ions uh, if the concentration is uh, one mole per cubic decimeter then we've got standard conditions and under those conditions um, the electrode potential of this hydrogen electrode is defined as exactly zero. And by connecting it to other electrodes, we can measure the potential of those electrodes relative to hydrogen. And that's the basis of the um, electrode potential scale, the electrochemical series, as it's sometimes called. Um, in the case of the cell we've got here, the iron has actually is a stronger oxidizer than hydrogen. So when you do connect the two together, um, the electrons in this particular case flow uh, this way from the hydrogen to the iron. And then the salt bridge uh, acts as a way of compensating uh, for any imbalance of electrons. So when current is drawn from this cell, uh, the, the reaction actually goes that way uh, and uh, in this case the reaction goes the other way so that electrons are released which flow through the wire and reduce the iron.